Greetings in our Lord. I'm Father Joshua Pappas of Holy Trinity Greek Orthodox Church in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And I'm here with Father Constantinos Eliot of St. Irene Orthodox Orphanage and Mission Center in Kenya. This is now the third time that Father Constantinos has been able to visit us here in Grand Rapids and spend time with us at the parish, worshiping with us and sharing with us his remarkable ministry at St. Irene, which began in 2010 with no orthodoxy, no water, no nothing in a remote area a couple of miles away, a couple of hours, excuse me, away from Nairobi, the capital of Kenya. And since then, in 13 short years, they now house over 200 orphans. They have a very bustling day school, and they have a water supply in which they're able to offer water, not just to their own, but also to the village around them. And many other remarkable things are happening there. Um, including recently the construction of an Orthodox sanctuary. They were worshiping in a, a classroom, essentially, for a long time. Now they're worshiping in a, a proper, beautiful Orthodox sanctuary. And one of the other big projects that they've been working on um, just in the last few months is groundbreaking now for permanent, beautiful facilities for the orphans. Whereas before, they were in very temporary rudimentary structures. And so this is a much more proper and dignified and, and healthy place for the children to live. And we're thrilled as a Holy Trinity Parish to get to know Father Constantinos and benefit from his joyful and Christ-centered presence in his ministry, and then also to offer ourselves to him in his ministry at St. Irene in Kenya through our prayers first, and also financial benefaction. These last few years, we've been able to help in some substantial ways, including most recently sending over $30,000 as some seed money to the construction of these new permanent dormitories for the children. It's a joy to have you with us, Father Constantinos, and we hope and pray that you will consider learning more about the ministry of Father Constantinos and St. Irene and supporting them through concretely monetary offerings, and also, most importantly, through the spiritual power of prayer. God bless you.